good kitty. Relaxing on the couch with her cat at her side, taking in a bit of television, or finishing up a puzzle in the newspaper. Whatever's on her agenda, Terry Orser is just happy to be doing it in a space that is her own. For a long time, I, I had boxes and stuff all over the place. I wasn't treating it like a home because it just didn't feel like it after, you know, losing my own home. It's been a year since Terry moved into Colwood's Cockrell House, an 11-unit complex for homeless veterans in Canada's only shelter of its kind. But Terry admits she was a bit reluctant to move in at the start. We are a proud bunch that uh, don't like to ask for help sometimes. I'm, I'm one of those. I'm learning <laughs> as I go. Terry was in the military for nearly 27 years. Five years ago, she was medically released because of her bad knee and constant battle with post-traumatic stress disorder. Newly unemployed, she wasn't able to maintain her high mortgage payments. When I was released, we don't get the same benefits as we do while we're in. I mean, the pay is not the same, so I lost a considerable amount of money with regards to that and just couldn't keep the payments up. And Terry's story is just one of many that have come through these doors at Cockrell House. Hey, Ray. Good morning. Former resident Ray Belanger found his way to Cockrell House because Hello. of a divorce. Long court waits, legal fees, and his PTSD rehab program kept Ray here for 19 months. But in July, Ray moved out, eager to begin his next chapter. Financially, it's starting to come around slowly, so things are looking better. And things are also looking better for Cockrell House itself. In July, they were asked to take part in a national study that looks at housing and related supports for veterans. They'll be getting a little over a quarter of a million dollars to help prevent and minimize the number of homeless veterans. So this is the one where you fill out, it's a consent. And, and you, it's not going to be identified at all, and I can show you why. It's, it's a sad situation, and for even one veteran to be living on the street is um, unacceptable. A recent survey shows the majority of Canadians also think this is unacceptable. 94% believe Canadians have an obligation to make sure our modern-day veterans find meaningful work. Even with a knee replacement scheduled for next year and a long-term struggle with PTSD, Terry is excited to get back into the workforce and get her life and finances back on track. I don't think PTSD ever goes away. Uh, good days and bad days. Today is a, a pretty good day. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably a 6. No, maybe a 7. <laughs> In Colwood, I'm Jen Moranitz.